Okay, watch for our special guest. Hey YouTube, Patricia here on Body Fitness. Um, welcome back to a new week uh, of workouts, and we're going to be doing some great workouts today in a second for those arms, okay? But I just want to give you guys an update about my progress. I have you know, completed my seven week transformation I was working on, and I believe I lost a total of eight pounds in seven weeks. So not terrific, but not the worst either. Um, and uh, it's feeling pretty good, so I'm going to keep moving forward. You guys, to think about your goals, you know, be really clearly focused on where you want to go, so you can spend 95% of the time on the solution that will get you there, and 5% on the problems that got you to where you don't want to be. All right, that's the really key to getting things going. Now I have a new challenge in my workouts these days. You guys know Patrick, of course, and I, uh, through our podcast and his videos as well, and also uh, our daughter Gracie, you met her. So we have a new member of the family, of course, you know, Tiger and Georgie. Um, so we've been a little challenged with that lately and, uh, and wanted to introduce her. Hey, hey girl, Luna, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, Luna, love you, Luna, come here. This is really busy right now working on a stuffed animal destroy. Luna, you gotta meet the family. Luna, Luna, come here. Come here, girl. Luna, look, Luna. Okay, well, she'll probably come at some point. <laughs> but you guys will stay tuned. I'm sure she'll be in here for the end of the video. And I can teach you. So let's do a little uh, bicep workout today. We'll work our biceps with some dumbbells. You can certainly use a barbell if you have to. I like to use the dumbbells sometimes because you can work on getting them uh, evenly strong. Okay, so pick up a pair of dumbbells and make sure you stand up straight and tall with your chest out. Shoulders back and down, and we're going to do a hammer curl first, which really make those biceps pop. Okay, so you just come in and down. See how my wrists are facing my body? It's called a neutral grip, which is called a hammer curl, which makes those biceps pop. Excellent. Good. Now we'll do a couple of different exercises here. So just stay with me if you can. Hopefully you're already warmed up and you have the music on that you like. Good. Two more like this. And one more. There you go. Now you should feel those biceps starting to work, right? Okay, so now we're going to stagger our feet the other way just to make sure that we're evenly strong. Okay, and now we're going to do alternating because our arms are starting to get a little tired. So let's do right with a curl. Okay, so you're going to start in a neutral grip. You're going to turn your, uh, your arm to face you, your hand, and then back down. So it's from neutral to supinated grip. Nice and slow and controlled like that. There you go. Work on one side at a time. Good. Can you hear Luna and Luna in the back? <laughs> oh, there she comes. Luna! Good. I'll introduce you guys at the end of the work. I'll explain a little bit about how we got her. Good. Ooh, burning a little bit. One more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Now let's switch sides. Or sizes. So if that's starting to burn, you can go with a little lighter weight, and that way you keep working the muscle. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So now we're going to do what's called a Superman. Okay. All right. Strongman actually. So strongman, stand up straight and tall again. Shoulders back and down. Palms facing up. Curl them in and straighten them out. Good. Here, really work those biceps. Get a good burn going. As we think about the body we want to have, we're working on the solution right here with me. Ah, yes, keep it going. There we go. We're going to get a third burn here. Good for afterburn. Beautiful. Nice. I think about five more. Here's five. Make sure you keep those arms up there. Four, not too fast. Three, controlling it. Two, and one. There we go. Good. Hopefully, you feel a little burn in those biceps. Excellent. And you can take a break and then you can do that whole set again with just like a minute break. So let me get down here and oh my goodness, that's a mess you think. Alright, we'll get down here and we'll talk to Luna for a second. Hey Luna. Hi Luna. Good girl. You gotta say hi to everybody. Luna, look. Look, Luna. She really loves the stuffed animal that, that she found. We've had for a long time. My daughter said, oh, she can have it. And of course, it's not a dog toy, so it makes a complete disaster mess. But she's having fun and we love her, which we on her liver. She has tons of dog toys, but it seems to be her favorite thing to do because she can demolish it completely. 
<laughs> that would occasionally be both. Hey, Luna, come here. Come here, Luna. My silly girl. Now, Luna's body is very lean. I thought maybe it was like a greyhound. But actually, they said she's probably part wicked. Okay? Um, which is kind of similar to a greyhound. And the nice thing is, since I like to run a little, not too crazy, a couple miles on this one, one to three miles, um, then she can run with me. And I'm really looking forward to that. And also, I think her face kind of looks like a pit bull, some kind of terrier. Uh, but I know the people at the pound didn't mention the word pit bull because people are afraid of pit bulls. But I don't think that's fair to pit bulls because dogs are how you raise it, right? Just like people, how you raise them, right? I don't think there's any inherited bad, bad breeds. All right, so Luna is a very uh, uh, short coat dog here, and this is called a Brendel pattern, in case you don't know. And uh, I've had short haired dogs before, and they still shed, you still have to brush them. But they're easier because they don't get knotted or matted. You can only just brush them once a day a little bit just to keep the, um, the uh, shedding down, but it's not too hard. And then they don't get the fur between their paws, because my old Cocker Spaniels would get that. And then the fur between your toes would get all too long, or get straggly, get dirty, get muddy. Um, get snow clung so that they couldn't walk or it was painful for them to walk so I had to put booties on them in the snow. So it's a little bit easier to have a short haired uh, dog like this, a little lower of maintenance and you don't have to pay for grooming. You just wash her yourself once a month. Of course you can get groomed. And also, she really likes that dog. Uh, also, she's uh, super sweet. We went to the pound this weekend on Friday actually. And uh, she's uh, the first one that really greeted me with the way I like dogs greeting me with a really sweet, um, slightly passive, but sweet and curious attitude, okay? um, which is good. And um, she's really good with kids. So far, she wants to play with the cats, but the cats are smacking her in the head, <laughs> saying no way. But they all get along eventually, though. And uh, she already knows to uh, sit and stay a little, try to work on keep the paw just for fun with my daughter. And I will take her to obedience classes. I think you should always do that. The thing is that um, I can't run with her just yet, nor is she supposed to play too rough so she can't interact with the dogs yet uh, because she doesn't be jumping and running too much uh, because she just had her uh, spading, which is how they neuter, uh, neuter girl dogs so that they can't have babies. And uh, they said she was a stray. She was about a year old. Um, and the fact that she wasn't neutered for that whole year is probably pretty good because she had a chance to develop and see her her nipples on that, which actually is healthier for her bones and such to wait for a year old till she's fully grown before you neuter them, or in her case, spade because she's a girl. I've always had boy dogs too. I've had girls. And um, so she's really healthy, as far as I can tell, and uh, has a pretty good appetite, but isn't like obsessed with food, which is a good thing to have in a house, right? And uh, very well mannered, walks good, had to work on the leash, not pulling, but she walks good otherwise and listens, even sits. Uh, when my daughter tells her to, if we're going to cross the street. So I know she's going to be a first day out family member, or she already is. Um, so we've had her as a third day. And uh, we love her so much. We don't even mind the mess because we love her so much. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and uh, she's good so far. Hasn't had one little accident in the house, but it was probably my fault um, because we left her for like an hour when we could go on the herring. And I didn't have the crate put together all together. <laughs> I didn't have it done right. Um, and so she escaped the crate. And then had a little accident upstairs. Uh, but that was okay. We love her. Anyway. I didn't get mad at her because with dogs, I do not think you should correct them unless you catch them in the act of something they shouldn't do. Because otherwise, they don't understand. They can't connect past and present so well as far as that kind of thing. So if you find them doing something wrong, you give them a firm no, and then you give them something that is correct and then praise them. Right? So I don't think you need to ever hit a dog or or come home to a mess and, and get mad at the dog because it's your fault for not securing them properly. Crate training is good for in a home for a short period of time to keep them in a crate so they don't get into anything. Uh, she's still teething, I think. So she uh, she's uh, definitely working on oh don't don't bark my foot. Right. <laughs> she's gonna be a lot of fun. So hopefully we'll treat teach her some tricks and show you all um, some fun videos. Actually stay tuned and I'll put in a clip perhaps about uh, something she's done. We'll see if we can add that or not. All right, or or in future videos. So that's Luna. Um, in the in the pound, she's been in the pound for about ten days, and I think they had put the name Willow in there, and I, that's a nice name. But since my daughter is such a big Harry Potter fan, she wanted to name her Hermione. Who is it? She wrote her name and Hermione just seems <laughs> to be a hard dog name to me. No, 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 good girl. Um, so we're calling her Luna, which is another Harry Potter character. It seems to fit her. She 
seems to like it. And she's just really lovable and a lot of too, um, and fun. So we're really excited. <laughs> Don't mind the mess, right? So sorry about the mess. Look at that. See what two minutes of the uh, energetic fun dog will be with a not proper toy. toy. <laughs> I did take the eyeballs off of it um, so that she wouldn't choke on it. Um, but she's pulling out the stuff in, as you can see, because it's not a dog toy. So I'll probably take it away from her and give her a uh, dog toy. She has lots of toys too. Um, already and she really will love. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe so you won't miss any Luna updates or any workouts. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. video.